Jack here, and I've got with me Star Wars Lego set number 75347, TIE Bomber. And with this set, you get 625 pieces, as well as four minifigures. The coolest minifigure in the set, in my opinion, is the Imperial Gonk Droid, featuring this printed crate piece that I think is really nice. Look at that Gonk Droid. So cute. Next, you've got your TIE Bomber Pilot. He does have a removable helmet. And that's the face you get on him. There is no double printing on the head. Next, you get Vice Admiral Sloan. I believe this character is new to LEGO, and this is the first set to have her. And finally, a really nice Darth Vader with leg printing, arm printing, and a two-piece helmet, which is really cool. There's the detailing on the face, and on the back of the head, there's some detailing as well. With this set, you do get this extra missile carrier cart, which is pretty cool and a nice play feature. Onto the ship. I've got to say, I was really impressed with the build of this ship, the detailing, and overall, it's a really nice feeling model. It's nice and heavy. It's got some good weight to it, and it definitely feels solid. We'll quickly go over a couple of the features of the model. You do have a cockpit that opens up right here. Do note that although this is a clear piece, there's a black brick behind it, and you cannot see through. Not the end of the world, but just so you know. Nothing fires out of here, but there are two little stud shooters up top here, which launch the included little green studs. On top of the ship, there's a place to load in your missiles. So the missiles go in through the bottom. To fire them, you just press down and they drop. Maybe not the coolest way to fire something out of the ship, but I'm glad they added that. The moving parts, these wings move. They are free moving. They don't notch into place. And there's also this little thing on the bottom that moves, although I don't really know what it is, but I know that it's accurate to the real ship. One additional note, sorry, forgot to add this in the first filming of the video. None of these printed pieces are stickers. They're all printed. So all of the detailing on the ship, they're actual printed pieces. Just thought you should know that. I'm really fond of the rear of the ship with the little red studs and just how smooth the overall body of the ship ended up turning out. I mean, for Lego, these are some really nice round cylindrical pieces on the ship, and I think it all looks really polished, really clean. And I think all in all, this is the best TIE Bomber set Lego's ever made. Whether you're a doll collector or you're looking for something for your young Star Wars fan, I think this Lego Star Wars set number 75347, TIE Bomber, is a great buy. Thanks for watching.